nice view out the window. See the firefighters. This two-story building is the Gibson House, built in 1862. It was a hotel, a rooming house, and a family home. And it, for a short time, it served as a blacksmith shop. This was a rooming house. They probably all ate, ate in here. Kitchen was in here. Quick meal. Gotta go upstairs. The rooms your aunt would be upstairs. The downstairs is nothing but a kitchen and a dining room. Room. It's a big room. Another big room. I imagine they had more than one bed in these bigger rooms. And it did say the, the house next door that I said I didn't know what it was. It said that was like the family home. The ones that ran the boarding house, they actually live next door. Probably ten layers of wallpaper behind there. Yeah, we got a cloth. I got one, two, three, four, five. Five layers of wallpaper. This is the Masonic Temple building. The first floor was the schoolhouse. The upper floor was the, ooh, it's nothing like being invited in. That's, ooh, that's kind of weird. Well, let's go check it out. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I'm not supposed to go into this place. Jeez, that door about took my head off. Alright, look out kids, I'm coming in anyway. You in here working that door? I'm walking up as I walk and it opens up real slow, like come on in, and then right when I get to it, it slams shut. An ounce of gold is worth twenty dollars. How much is a pound of gold worth? An arm and a leg. I knew the answer to that. Look at the rules for teachers. Rules for teachers, 1950. You will not marry during the term of your contract. You will not keep company with men. You must not be. You must be home between the hours of 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. unless attending a school function. You may not loiter downtown. You may not travel beyond the city limits without the permission of the school board and you may not ride with any carriage or any something with any man. Oh, you may, there's more rules. You may not smoke, you may not dress in bright colors, you may not know under no circumstances dye your hair, you must wear at least two petticoats, your dress must be no shorter than two inches above the ankle to keep the schoolroom neat and clean, sweep the floor daily, scrub the floor once a week, Clean the blackboards once a day. Start a fire by 7 a.m. so the room will be warm. 
wants a job? No. Your dress is too short. Yeah. I'm definitely not wearing two petticoats. You don't wear any petticoats. That's right. You don't. Oh, I know. Huh? Keep it clean. Well, the Masonic's upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Uh -huh. You have to go outside to go upstairs or can you? I ain't going upstairs. I ain't going upstairs. Let's go to the dress up. the side door. This is Masonic Temple. Move to the other side. Yeah, I guess to be a Masonic, it'll take anyone, but you do got to have a belief in a supreme being. Doesn't matter which one. You got to have a recognition of the brotherhood of man, and you got to have a belief in the immortality of the soul. Otherwise, you couldn't be a mason. And take the merry go round. Still works. <laughs> 